Stone, and I am a customer service representative for Mount Baker Vapor. Uh, answering a lot of calls, um, responding to emails, you know, live chats, uh, just kind of helping out customers, figuring out where their stuff is, kind of making sure they get everything that they ordered. You know, everybody I work with is fun, they're interesting, and everybody that I've talked to so far, you know, via email or on the phone, they're friendly, they're nice, and you know, it's easier to relate to them because, you know, I have a similar interest with them with vape products and things like that. Yeah, I smoked from, God, 12 to like 20, maybe 23. You know, I never wanted to admit that I was like addicted to cigarettes at age 13, 14, but uh, I walked to school, so I would need to smoke on my way to school. Um, walking home from school too. Um, but, you know, I didn't really think too much about like needing a cigarette like while I was in school. So I, I think that was kind of how I like justified it, I guess. But it was definitely more of just like a ritualistic thing for a while and then Probably once I turned 16, 17, that's when I was able to just, you know, get my own packs and not have to, you know, steal them from my mom or like bum from people who had cigarettes and that's when it got, you know, just a pack a day or if not more, you know. I remember seeing people with like the blue cigarettes, like the disposable, whatever you get at the gas station and, uh, you know, I thought those were kind of like gimmicky because with a cigarette, you know, you finish it and you're done. Whereas with an e-cig, obviously, like you can hit it as many times as you want. Um, but what I didn't know was like the nicotine levels and how it varies. But you know, I, I thought it was real gimmicky at first. Like, oh, that's not really gonna work. Like it doesn't feel the same. It doesn't taste the same. So that was my initial opinion. Just like there's no point. Once I saw somebody using like a real device like something with a tank on it that you can, you know, put your own juice in. Um, and I tried that and, you know, it, it gave me a pretty similar sensation to a cigarette and it gave me like the same feeling of, uh, you know, like the nicotine and things like that where, uh, you know, I figured I'd give it a try and I found a local shop and gave it a try. Mount Baker was actually the first company that I ever bought juice from. As soon as uh, I found something that had a lot of flavor and gave me like the same feeling from the nicotine, it, it was pretty easy. Um, just because like I, I didn't really care about um, like the the same motions and things that came with smoking. Um, it was just like, how can I get nicotine? I think when I got into like rebuildables and uh, I found a shop where it was real easy to you know, kind of integrate myself into the community of like the local vape scene and people who were actually hobbyists to where, you know, the, the thought of a cigarette didn't even cross my mind. Like I was just busy all day. Um, I got a job at a vape shop and I just kind of started, you know, plugging myself in with the local community and getting into the more hobbyist level of vaping rather than just using it to stop smoking. You know, the ones who are most active in the community with advocacy and things like that, those are the ones who will give you honest advice rather than just try and sell you a product. So get with people who like know what they're talking about. I haven't stopped vaping since I started, so, you know, uh, sometimes I'll just pick up a cigarette and it's like, oh, man, this thing's gross <laughs> and I'll throw it. But uh, yeah, I mean, relapsed a couple times, I guess, but yeah, no, I've been vaping. Uh, I guess since I was like 22, 26 now, so it's been a while. This is Stone and this is my vape story. <laughs>